Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the very useful More Doors mod to your DAISY PC servers and the just as useful Code Lock mods. So what More Doors does is it enables you to attach doors to existing buildings so that you can secure them. Fantastic way of doing things because this is probably how you do it in real life, wouldn't it? You wouldn't build a base from scratch, you'd add doors to existing buildings. There's a few other cool things it comes with. Um, and to go with that as well, the code lock mod allows you to use um, keypads as locks rather than the combination locks. And so they're much quicker to put on and off. You just kind of go up to the door, put the uh, key code in, and then, you know, and, and it opens. Very, very, very good. They're also both configurable, so you can turn on and off base raiding and damage and all that sort of stuff. So. As always, everything starts going to the Steam Workshop for Daisy and subscribing to the particular mod, so it'll start downloading to your local PC. Now, with more doors, you'll need to make sure you've got the Community Framework mod as well, but hey, if you're into modding, you'll already have that one done. Now, with both of these mods, um, we've got to adjust our types.xml. We've got to add the doors and the door kits and the um, code locks to our types.xml. So one of the things you probably want to do is go over to your um, DAISY server, maybe access it via FTP or access it via the web interface. This is a Nitrado web interface. And you probably want to stop your server at this point, so, so just stop it. And then you want to go into your file browser um, and then you want to go into, um, oh, this one's already there. So, uh, Daisy standalone MP missions. This is a Chernerus fault, uh, server, so we're going to Chernerus, going to DB, and types would be there. So, we would download that one so that we can actually edit it properly. Um, and once you've got that downloaded, what you want to do is you want to open that up in your favorite text editor. This is Notepad, highly recommend this, um, and then kind of stop there. Then, what should have happened is your um, mods will have downloaded. Now we need to find the folder where the mods live. Um, if you're not sure where that is, if you fire up the Daisy launcher and go into mods, and then go to the particular mod that you're looking for, any of them actually, it doesn't really matter, and click on the uh, little arrow, and then click on these little three dots, you'll get a bit that says open folder in Windows Explorer. So you click that and it'll say, don't bug around with any of this. And you say, I understand. That will then take you to the folder where they all live. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the code lock um, folder and you want to go into the XML folder and you want to open up the types file there. And then you also want to go into the more doors um, at, um, mod go into the xmls and you want to open up more door types in notepad plus plus or notepad whatever you open up in so then what you should have in is you should have your types file open and then the more doors types dot text and the code lock dot uh, code lock dot xmls and you should recognize this um for, as a kind of normal daisy types type description code lock there should be 80 of the 80 of them on the server with a minimum of um 50 um, they're classed as tools and they'll be found in industrial and farm places so you could you know you could add military you could add village you could add town to that you could you know do whatever you want um, they're counted in the map only so if you wanted to restrict them you could say counting cargo counting hoarder but that's pretty good so you would then copy that and then top cop um, paste it into the top of your types um, file like I have already done there and the more doors um, types is a little bit more complicated there's a few more things but again the idea is that these go into the types of the stuff doesn't disappear so you would copy all of those right click copy you go over to your types and then just you know paste them in and a little space there I've already done it here so you can see they're, they're already there now these are um, crafted items so they won't actually spawn in on your um, on your server um, Actually, the Mordor safe does. All right, cool. There we go. Something to look at. So once you've got that done, you want to save your types.xml, and then you'll want to go back to your uh, DB folder where your types.xml would, would sit, and you'll want to upload the file. So that'll, that'll kind of sit there. Now, the other thing you probably want to do while we're here is go to the settings on your server, and you'll want to go down to the additional mods section. Now, 
depending on your your server how you set this up it'll be a box like this um, or you may well have it within a batch file if you've got access to that but if it says something like addition you've probably already got community framework and in this case I've got Zombri admin tools you just add at more doors uh, semicolon at code lock and then you want to you'll want to save that as well so make sure you save the changes remember it won't work yet because we haven't installed the mod yet but that kind of gets your server ready to go so the next bit is we're going to be using um, FTP file transfer protocol to get our um, mods up onto our server you're probably familiar with this already if you're not just do a Google search for FTP daisy servers I'm using FileZilla not sure if it's the best one but it kind of works for me so in this one we go file site manager uh, PC Nitro 1T so I would connect to that one I'm already connected though as you can see we're here on the right hand side this is the remote server on the left hand side this is where my um, this is my local PC again if you weren't sure where the add-ons would be um, if you remember we went to daisy we could go to the workshop and if you click up here when you're in the your um, file browser and then uh, left click in the bar it comes up with the direct address so you can just copy that go to FileZilla paste that into there press enter and it'll take you to the right place so here we are we've got the daisy workshop and as you can see there's the code lock so make sure we're clicked on daisy standalone click over here to code lock right click um, upload that would upload um, I've kind of actually I, I do realize I've kind of skipped over installing CF here but I guess I'm kind of assuming you've already got community framework and um, installed if you haven't just do a Google search a YouTube search for installing the community framework mod um, I'd highly recommend actually at this point as well is and feel free to disagree with, with me as well is if you're having trouble um, installing community framework and community online tools don't bother with community online tools go with something like Zomberry admin tools they seem to be a little bit more stable but you don't need to have either of those for, for this to work so um, upload code lock and then you'll want to go down to uh, more doors so you want to upload more doors so they will then appear over here as you can see I've already done them and then what we need to do is we need to sort out the keys so if we scroll around there we go there's the keys folder then what you do is you go into the individual um, add-on folder on your local PC so code lock see we've got the keys see this key appears down here right click upload that will then put it into that folder then we scroll down and then we go to more doors keys there it is right click upload that will put that into that folder so now what we need to do is you need to go back to your web interface for your server and you want to restart the server so click on restart and let it go through the whole cycle and then what you should notice is if you go back to your FTP program if you update the files normally it's F F5 on um, FileZilla you'll notice within your config folder um, two new folders you'll see a more doors one and a code lock one now your config folder which has lots of settings in as to how different mods uh, work it might not be called config it might be called profiles is another classic classic one um, but if you just look for the folder that I don't with a similarly theme name to that that has code lock and more doors in if we look into these folders they actually have the configuration files the JSON files for code lock and for more doors um, and again if you look on the steam pages for these particular um, add-ons um, there's links to descriptions on how you set them up um, in terms of uh, durability base damage rating all that sort of stuff so you can really customize it for your particular need on your particular server so once that's done um, you know you could play around you could configure them if you want we're actually pretty much good to go now we've got the types that XML updated we've got the um, add-ons there all we really need to do now is just go back to our server um, and then just restart the server um, and that's it everything will, will, will start to clunk into place um, and you will then have code locks and more doors installed on your daisy private community custom server there we go they're one of the easier ones I think to update and incredibly useful as well especially more doors I think that is a fantastic um, add-on you know really very very useful um, to uh, be able to 
co-op existing buildings to your bases now as i said before remember people can still glitch through windows and glitch through to, um, walls so make sure that you secure your whatever's inside there maybe behind another door that's inside um well, there we go anyway if you found that useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon